Good <laughs> morning. morning, and welcome to the show. If you are listening to this on podcast, it really would benefit you greatly to watch it on the video because there are things that happen that are unspoken. Do you know what I mean? They're unspoken, but they are seen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Monday. We are back to another Monday. Shit, last... So, if you guys didn't watch the live guest interview on Friday, I highly encourage that you do that. Must. I think that it was... It's essential to life. I think that it was my favorite interview to date. And we've had some pretty good ones. But that one was just like a whole bunch of stuff. And we saved the horse. We saved a horse. We rescued a horse. That's incredible. And we get to name it. Yeah. Boogie's going to have a big sister. Um, so I want to share something with you because I'm not sure if you saw. but okay. And to refresh your guys' memory, the amazing impromptu pencil challenge that we had. I can't even hold it in my lip now. From last week. For one, we're going to announce the winner today. For two, there was... A woman that posted mm-hmm. her whole Zoom video class that she was teaching of the kids trying to hold. No kidding. No kidding. And she's right here, Amy. Shout out to Amy Z in the house. That was so Amy, amazing. that's awesome. You're so ferocious. I saw that and I was like, How? talk about influence, okay? So we're here. We have the ability to influence however many people care about what we have to say and find it valuable for their lives. What is the most cool thing about this is that when we show you guys how we can help you transform your lives, you then are inspired. And this is like a very mild, right? It's like, oh, pencil challenge. And then you Mm -hmm. passed it on, right? Is you then become inspired to pass on what it is you've overcome and what you've learned. And now you get to change the lives of other people. And that has trickled down from us, which is absolutely incredible which has trickled down from the people who have been um, influential in our lives mm-hmm. so it's truly amazing um and you know so many of you especially in our more one-on-one kind of coaching programs that we have you know have gotten your family members to be healthier and change their habits or your friends or your significant other and it's absolutely incredible so um anyways i wanted to say that that's awesome and I'm grateful for that. Um, We have the announcement of the winner Mm -hmm. from the pencil challenge and then we also have some other things coming up. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do first? Let's do the winner first. Okay. So the winner of not just any tank top Not just any really sweet improve you tank top. Not just any really sweet improve you tank top with um, a limited edition and limited edition, but the improve you tank top with the hood limited edition. Only two of these exist in the world, and this one has been on Sarit's body, and she's giving it away. We literally have to go like mail this. This very shirt right here. Mm-hmm. To the winner, who's in the room, and I just saw them comment. Daisy. Daisy Davison. So, I got to share this with you guys. I think it was like Thursday afternoon or something. Okay. And Erin was taking a break. She was eating her lunch, and she's like, all right, like right, I'm going to check out. What's happening? Well, the team was sending us, like, links to the videos that you guys were posting. Yeah. And (laughs) what were you eating? I think, like, you were eating, like, chicken and rice and something. She literally stopped and, like, almost completely, like, uh, what's the word? Like, Like, spit it out. Spit it out her food. Just, like, dying laughing. And I knew Sarit was doing, like, brain And then she looked at me, and it's like, when she laughs so hard, she nods her head, like... You know, when you laugh really hard, you're like... Okay, so I had to, like, turn my computer screen to try not to distract Sarit, but I, my own self, 
was distracting because I couldn't stop laughing. It was amazing. There were some really great attempts too. Um, there was somebody else who was like, I'm in the bathroom. I figured I would make the challenge more difficult because I figured I had a hidden talent. And I will say like, though you probably are the best at this, please forgive me because I don't remember your name, but I absolutely remember your video. And she took, she's like, okay, pencil. And she did it like no problem. Right. And everybody did this, like open their mouth. Like, but you don't realize you can open your bottom lip, but you don't realize you need to put your top lip down to drink. So that's where the pin falls. Okay, anyways, she did it with a pen. Then she's like, well, tweezers, let's try it. She put tweezers. Then she's like, tampon, because I'm in the bathroom. She put a legit <laughs> tampon. She crushed it, drank her drink, whatever it was. Then she like did a hanger, <laughs> hanger. And then she put everything into a bag. She's like, let's just put it all in a bag. And she literally held the whole bag from the handle and her lip and oh my it, was, gosh. it was amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, a couple people dropped crayons in their mugs, which was equally as hilarious. So all of you guys, thank you so much for participating in our silly challenge. Um, but that was awesome. Congratulations. Daisy. We hope that it brought you joy, fun. Um, and Daisy, you're welcome because you now get to wear my tank top. The only thing that I ask too. is when you wear it, make sure that you wear it with pride, which I know you would. Um, so that's awesome. Um, we'll be sure to, to send you this. We do have your information already, so we're all good. Okay, shall we do more housekeeping stuff and then get to today's topic? Be my guest. Okay, so today, you guys, it is day eight of the Transformation Kickstarter Challenge. Last week, um, towards the end of the week, we had the very first separator. Um, and at first, everybody kind of questions us, well, this is really easy. Why is it easy? I want, I want to be more sore. I want to do more things. And we're like, just wait. All it takes is one thing to really challenge you, to challenge your mind um, more than your body. And anyways, Friday, um, there was the 200 burpee challenge day. And that was the first um, separator. But, you know, for those of you guys who are in it to either win it or are in it to just transform your year this year, regardless of what's happening. Today is a very big day um, because today we begin open registration for the first raw transformation of 2021. Um, the eight, raw week raw, eight, eight week raw transformation program, real authentic weight loss transformation program. Yep. Um, and the link to register actually is improveusolutions.com forward slash raw. Simple. Boom. Boom. Um, just a heads up, you guys, this week, we, um, we are giving you a chance to get registered at an early bird price. This is something that we offer for the transformation Kickstarters only, uh, you know, as a symbol of gratitude for you doing the challenge. Okay, next week, all prices are gonna go up. In fact- By at least a hundred bucks. It's, I think it's at the end of this week, right? It's at the end of this week, yeah. Yeah, on Saturday, all prices go up. So if you're like, you know what, I've either been challenged or I like what these girls are about, or I've already seen so much progress in just a couple of days, don't question it. It's already a proven program. Like just if this is our fifth round, this is our fifth round and it keeps on getting better and better. There's a new surprise coming at you, which we've never done before. That's coming into this um, round coming up because we like to keep getting and better and better as well. Um, in fact, there's two surprises now that I'm thinking about it. there's two surprises. Um, but yeah, join it join it you'll want to join it because it's an incredible program and it only keeps on getting better and better it's our fifth time doing it it is proven that it works the only thing that needs to happen is for you to be open-minded and just commit that's it um 
yeah, you can find more about what it is about on that page. You can also post your questions in the group. But I want to give a shout out because it was Carrie Ann who did all of the, um, probably one of the most unique videos, I would say, of the pencil challenge. Anyways, um, and I think it's funny that uh, both of their last names are Davison. Oh, interesting. Cool. You Davison, <coughs> you go wild, huh? Sweet. Okay. Thank you to the team who's posting the link as well. That's awesome. Yes, and guys. anybody who's done the, the transformation for, first of all, like some of you guys are probably going to do it again for your second or third time. Um, and there's, there's no harm in that um, because you're now a different person going into that. So you're going to see it from a different perspective. Um, and then, you know, to encourage anybody else who's on the fence because it, we can only say so much about how great it is. Um, you just have to experience it to understand. So let's get to today's topic. Any more housekeeping? Yeah. No more housekeeping. No more housekeeping. So We're done cleaning. So what is the biggest mindset tip for 2021? Well, I would honestly say for any year ever. I don't know if you guys have our um, journal yet. If you don't, get it at shop.erinandsarit.com. Then you should. But notice at, at the bottom of our journal, it says score of the day. And if you guys haven't done any of our programs, then you're probably like, what does she mean score of the day? <laughs> so you probably leave it blank. And this is why you should join our program. So you, so you understand how we think and how we operate and so that you can apply to your own life. But you guys, if you want to be successful in life, and this is not just for weight loss, but you know, to any element of life, you have to treat every day like it's day one. The most successful people on the planet, okay? Like the big known names treat every day like it's day one it doesn't matter where you're at right now and how far you have to go and it doesn't matter how much you've accomplished so far you have to treat every day like it's day one every day starts at zero zero every day is game day how many people, how many of you guys who lost and gained and lost and gained and lost and gained weight, you're like, man, I probably lost 20 pounds 10 times in my life. That's a cumulative of 200 pounds. But why are you having trouble dropping below 20 pounds in the case that let's say your ultimate goal is 70 pounds? Why is that? It's because normally when somebody wants to start losing weight, it's because they're sick and tired of feeling how they're feeling. They're in pain, right? So when we're in pain, again, our brain has evolved to survive. When we're in pain, we'll do everything that we need to in order to get outside of pain zone. But you start losing a little bit of weight, 20 pounds, you start feeling comfortable. You're, you're one size smaller and chances are that if you lost and gained and lost and gained, you probably have one size smaller in your closet still for, for your better days, right? And, you know, you keep, you keep going back to old ways. Here and there, oh, you know, Linda offers you a cookie at the office, before, like, January, February, March, you're like, no, I'm doing this thing. And then April cre cre creeped around. Creeps in. Creeped around. It's Easter time. Suddenly, like, Reese's comes up with those um, sweet little uh, Reese's cream eggs. And you're like, yeah, it's the time of year when I can get these eggs. Dude, I know you because I've been you. Um, so you start having one. One leads to two to too many and then it's the summertime so you're like 
fuck it. It's the summer only once a year. And I live in like, I don't know, like Michigan or Minnesota. And it's like, I only get eight weeks of this shit. So then, you know, your summer turns to like a completely irresponsible celebration. And then, you know, September hits and then the kids go back to school and you're like, man, like holidays are already here. It's Halloween season. There's Halloween candy everywhere. Might as well just start in January. And the cycle continues and continues and continues and continues. Does that sound familiar, you guys? Can I say, too, you know, the reason that this phenomenon happens, we're going we're gonna to call this the, um, the filling myself phenomenon, okay? And what happens is you lose a little bit of weight and now you're filling yourself. Right. Oh, I'm feeling myself. Oh, my clothes are fitting better. Can start see a little, seeing a little rib. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't jiggle as much as it used to. Oh, I'm, you know, you start feeling good. You're no longer in a mental or emotional pain that is great enough for you to stay motivated. So you now have to find something else <laughs> as your why. Because you've been now, so, so what happens is you, you start to feel yourself, right? You're feeling myself phenomenon. You start to feel yourself and you're like, okay, so now you start making room for justifications, extra justifications or, you know, um, excuses as to like why you can have this thing or that thing. And instead of sticking to what you were doing that was working, you start to slide back into old habits. So, you know, you get comfortable. Now, when we're in pain, physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain, we will do, like the degree of pain you are in will determine the degree of action you will take to get out of that pain. If you break your arm, you're not gonna wait a fucking week to go to the doctor. Oh, just see, it's fine. I'll just let it flop around. You're like, no, shit needs to get fixed. This is painful. If you're extremely overweight, and I'm not, I, this isn't me making a joke about this because it's, you know, it's difficult. Um, but if you are in enough pain mentally or emotionally or even physically, your joints or something, and you're aching every day, or, you know, you, you every time you look at yourself in the mirror, you, you can't, you know, you, you're disgusted with yourself. And, and this is all coming from my own experience. So it's not my job to say how you're feeling about yourself. But for me, when I absolutely hated what I looked like, how I felt when I tried to put clothes on, I was trying to hide in clothes. I absolutely hated it so much that it hurt me to tears. When I'm in that position, I'm way more motivated to take action to get out of that position than I am when I'm no longer in that position. So it's easier then to make justifications when you've made some forward progress because you're no longer in that deep of a pain. You feel me? So you have to at some point when you reach this point where like, okay, now I'm, not, you know, I'm feeling better about myself. How do I continue to stay motivated? How do I um, keep taking action that's gonna keep me moving in a forward trajectory without backsliding? And that thought, that mental thought is today's day one. Rent is due every day. Your wins from yesterday though helped you to get to where you are, don't mean shit for today's successes. Yep. yep. What are you going to do today to move you forward? One day or day one? Mm -hmm. um, the reason why people actually show up when 
they are in pain. And by the way, this is, this is what separates like success mindset from just average mindset in general. And when I say success mindset, like I want you to think about the one person who inspires you the most, who has proven success over time consistently. Like the Michael Jordans, like the Kobe Bryants, like the Oprah Winfrey's, like the Ellen DeGeneres. They only kept on getting better and better. Just because Ellen had one good season doesn't mean that she stopped. Just because Oprah, man, she broke so many records as a woman. You know, let's say she, she got her first award doesn't mean that she stopped. Same for Lady Gaga, the, you know, just because she won one award doesn't mean she stopped. You see so many like celebrities, athletes, and people in general, because we're all people who have achieved something dramatical and then... Dramatical? Yep, let's go with it. And then... And then they go back to their old ways. Why? Because they don't have success mindset. But if you want to live or have a body that's being treated like you're the Kobe Bryant's, you're the Oprah Winfrey's, you're the Ellen DeGeneres's, and the list goes on and on, you have to treat every day or your situation as if it is a life or death situation. Life or death. Now, what happens is that when we're in pain, we're like, we're experiencing it, that it's life or death. So we have no choice but to act mm -hmm. and show up for it. Mm -hmm. So then we act and we show up for it. And physically, physically, it no longer feels like a life or death situation. So we're a little bit away from hell, but are we? So you have to treat every day and every single action that you do and take as if it's a life or death situation because the reality is, is that that's the case. If you want, if you want to be great. If you want to be great. If you want to be average, then you'll keep on making excuses because there is well, no, because there is no sense of urgency. So the, the leeway, the amount of leeway that you give yourself it's just so wide. And that's why you never end up accomplishing something amazing because there is no sense of urgency. And when, you know, um, you're being offered that um, Reese's cream egg, you're like, oh, I only get this for this amount of time per year. So I might as well go for it. There's no leeway. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be eating any like Reese's um cream eggs if like that's your thing in Easter. However, set an intention and hold yourself accountable to it. And, and you know, give yourself an allowance. How many do I allow myself to have before I, I start sliding back? Because you guys, like it or not, every single decision that you make, every single action that you take has an outcome. Most of the time you can't see it. You can only see it as it compounds over time. And that's why for those of you guys, um, one of our team members um, sent us this, um, one of you guys made a post of, I still haven't lost any weight. I'm like, honey, this is why you need our help because you're focusing on the wrong things. Just because you've done seven good things doesn't mean that your life is going to change. You guys, change happens every single day, whether you like it or not. Most of the change that happens in your life, you can't see because it is so minute. But then over one month, you're like, whoa, I can't believe I've done this much. Over one year, you're like, my life is completely different. Over a decade, forget about it. But it's because people don't live with this sense of urgency. Oh, it'll be okay if I skip my workout today. It's just one workout. Oh, or you know, like it's just one beer, not a big deal. 
there's nothing wrong with having a beer or, you know, like, let's say if, if, you know, you, you've had a, like all of a sudden, like, let's say you're a nurse and, and like, they suddenly gave you like extra six hours and you're like, oh shit, I think I might have to skip a workout. Look, it's fine, but you got to hold yourself accountable to your lack of activity or to the activity that's misaligned with your goals. You don't have to be perfect. The reason why you guys fear failure is because you think that you have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to tell yourself if you didn't do the thing that you were supposed to do, that there is a negative consequence. You guys don't live life as if there is a negative consequence to things that you didn't do. So if you didn't do the 200 burpee challenge, you're like, hmm, I'm not like you said, the first thing that you do is you start justifying why you shouldn't do it. Life doesn't work that way. Lean into your fears. Do things that you haven't done before. That's the only way that you're going to get better. Everybody, everybody wants their body to get better, but everybody is not willing to do whatever they have to do in order for their body to get better. Look, dude, your body is literally just a manifestation of all of your thoughts, all of your decisions, and all of your actions that you've taken up till today. Just because you've done seven great things doesn't mean that your body is going to look completely different. Like, you're delusional if that's the case. But if you think that way, then you obviously need our help because you're acting delusional. And I'm saying it with so much love and care because if I would have thought the way that I thought over the last, uh, over the last couple of years, a, a decade ago or two decades ago, I'm very happy and grateful with where I'm at because everything in life happens for a reason. And you also have to understand that, you know, your failures came to you for a reason. Maybe if you failed so many times, you failed so that you could be led to us, so that we can show you the way. I know what it feels like, but just hold on. But you have to hold yourself accountable. If you acted like a little bitch, don't be okay with it. Don't be okay with you quitting on yourself. Be okay with failure, but don't be okay with quitting yourself because that is failure. So by the way, for any of y'all who had that little bitch voice inside your head on Friday, say, oh, I've never done 200 burpees, therefore I can't do it. I challenge you to fucking do it today. Because otherwise, this is why your life isn't changing. This is why your body isn't changing. Because you're not willing to lean into your fears. Until you will allow yourself to lean into your fears, and I give you permission to do so, by the way, you will never get better at life because you'll always choose to stay in that comfort zone. And progress happens here, not here, outside of your comfort zone. You want to drop 50 pounds? Okay. You, you know how to drop 20? Great. 50 is way past your comfort zone. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you want a change to happen, you're going to be the one who needs to cultivate it. Okay, go. Oof, that felt so good. <laughs> First of all, Sarit's on fire and I'm just reading all the comments about how much they're loving this. Second of all, I'm very grateful that you guys are loving this and that we've like been able to even begin to cultivate a community of people who fucking appreciate <laughs> our honest, but maybe sometimes hurtful truth just because it stings when you when you know it's true you're like oh fuck you <laughs> why did you have to say that it's so true third of all i want you all to recognize instead of cutting sari off i did raise my hand and she still bit my head off so fourth of all now i'm gonna say what i raised my hand to say you did great <laughs> Um, you know, there were so many things that, that you said, and I was trying to take notes and you know what? The reason that she said everything that she said is because we're here to make you fucking great. We are here to transform you into high performing, badass, unfuck with human beings that if it were a survival of the fittest, 
You are going to win. Fittest. Fittest. You're going to win. Now, nobody's telling you that you have to be great. We're not telling you you have to be great. But if you want to be average and if you want to be mediocre, this show is probably only going to offend you. Yeah. If you're open-minded and willing to be coachable and take the coaching, all of this free information that we just bleh every day, you will succeed. And though we get passionate and sometimes the delivery of things we say may be hurtful or feel harsh, it's because we get so passionate and we care so much that it needs to just be said in a way that you will remember forever. And the more, the more aggressive or pronounced it is, the more you will remember. If somebody says, oh, you know, someday you should think about um, making today day one. Um, making every day day one. Because, you know, that way you're, you're really going to get to your goals. Like it's not going to have any effect on you. You're going to, it's literally going to, gone. So there's that. Um, also, your dreams are made or crushed in the incremental details, in the incremental actions. So every time you say, I don't feel like doing this little thing, it's just one thing. Or every time you say, oh, I'm just going to have one of these because it's just, it's just one. is an incremental action that will affect whether or not you reach your dreams. Because you're not going to lose all of the desired weight. You're not going to achieve your desired body or you know, energy level or health status or whatever in a day, in a week, not even in a month. And guess what? Anybody who knows, um, you know, I could use myself or Sarit as examples because we've been doing this for years. What is our motivation to wake up and s- still work out every day? Oh, you're already fit. Oh, you could eat whatever you want. You think I would look the way that I look by eating whatever I wanted to all the time? So... <clears throat> It, those incremental, those small decisions and actions or inactions that you take or don't take every single day matter. And you look back and you see the progress you've made and you're like, oh my God. But so many people try to just jump to the top of the staircase in one foul swoop and every time you then you're fucking confused of why you broke your nose. Bam. Failed again. Must not be for me. God wants me to be fat. So justification. You guys of, are here. Of why you of why you are where you are. You guys are here to be great. I'm not done yet. You have to raise your hand. Um so you know, okay, so how do we? How do we then, you know, make these changes? How do we really go forward into uh, reaching our goals? Um, you know, it's, it's a struggle for anybody who's in the beginning of it or for anybody who hasn't. Uh, I don't even know if I could say that we've mastered. Um, we, I would say. No, we, we're always, I mean, we're lifelong. We're so. always trying to get better, you know. So it, we're always trying to get better. If you've seen Nicole Miller up in this page. She's still trying to get better. She's jacked as all hell. But the reason she got that way is because of the habits she has. And those habits make her want to continue getting better. We talked about this yesterday with really uh, successfully wealthy people. People with a lot of money. They have a lot of money. People are like, oh, you don't, you don't have to work. Oh, I want to you know, make all this money so that I don't have to work. The reason that people have a lot of money is because they get to a point where they don't have to, but they still choose to. And that's how they got there. Mm -hmm. You have to understand that the win is in embracing the journey. Every single day, even if things go sideways, 
You know, we've talked about before. Why is this happening for me? What's the benefit in this for me? Uh, Siri and Beck talked about it on their interview on Friday. You know, what's the gift in this adversity? And, you know, when you really want something, here's the best, most surefire way to get what it is that you want. Use all of your resources. The people you know that can help you, um, your time, building out a schedule, you know, being prepared in advance to, you know, know what you're going to be eating throughout the week. That doesn't mean you have to spend three hours a day meal prepping for the week. It doesn't mean your entire weekend needs to be consumed with it, but it means you need to plan ahead. You need to schedule your time for your workouts. You need to use your energy. You need to use energy in your workouts. You need to use mental energy to overcome when you know that you're craving a behavior or an activity that's not going to lead you closer to your goals. You need also to use your money. Pay for people who have proven that they can do it and that they can help you do it because they've done it themselves and they've helped other people do it. You got to pay for good food. Right? Use your time, use your energy, use your money. All of those three things are the most surefire way to get you to your goals. Also, when you pay, you pay attention. I said this the other day on a TKC call, and I'll say it again. When you have something to lose, other than weight, when you have something that means something to you to lose, for a lot of people, especially right now, that's money. You're way more likely to show up and do the work. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who did the raw last time, but maybe you fall into this exact thing that we're talking about right now, where it's like you, you, you made some results, you started to get a little bit comfortable, and now you're kind of, you either have plateaued, stalled, you're going backwards, that's not the purpose. Like everything that we do, everything that we put out, every program we provide, every service is designed for sustainability. Now we do our best in that to help you guys, but it's up to you to keep the momentum going. So if you did a raw transformation, you've been backsliding, do this one too. It's going to be the same but you're gonna see it differently and you're gonna take different actions because you went through the last one, you've become a different person here. So even though it's gonna be similar conversations, it's gonna be the same homework, you're gonna do the homework differently because you've become a different person here. And the goal is to keep you doing that over and over and over and over. No external transformation happens without an internal transformation. And that internal transformation for you to be great has to keep happening. It's endless. That's all I have to say. Okay, I have some things to add. Speaking of momentum, the only way you're going to keep the momentum going is dictated by the people that you're surrounded by. And I will tell you this as a student, I have not one, not two, but three coaches. You know what is my greatest fear in life? To not have access to an extremely successful person who can mentor me to continuously raise my standards every day. And here's why you guys. Because we don't know what we don't know. And just because you've learned a little bit doesn't mean that you know to do it by yourself. Grant Cardone said it in 2020. Whatever happens in 2020, don't try to do this. Don't try to go through it on your own. And he was so right. And I'm so freaking grateful that we had access to him. That we paid our access to him in 2020. We pay a lot of money for our friends. <laughs> that sounds yes, weird. But we honestly, we do. But, but, but you become who you surround yourself with and proximity is power. Yeah. Sarit has asked this question before. Sorry, I totally cut you no, off. No, that's okay. Sarit has asked this question before. Like if you guys lived with, with us 
for a month, do you think your life habits would begin to change much easier than if you lived in your current environment? Because your closeness, your level of closeness to us is powerful in your results. Yeah. Because our lives and the way that we live it, by default, if you are hanging out in that space enough, and a lot of you guys, so many of you, there's 91 people here. That's fucking amazing. I love it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trusting what we have to say. We're going to keep bringing you as much value as we can. But the closer you are in proximity to the people who are living the demonstration of what it is that you want for your life, the more likely your habits are to shift towards that destination, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we understand not everybody has a, you know, financial res like everybody's financial resources is in varying degrees, but that's why we do things for free. That's why we provide programs and services for very low dollars, middle dollars, and high dollars. Because no matter where you're at, we want you to be able to do something with us. We want your business, period. Because we know that if we fail to get it, we're failing to actually help you succeed how we know we can help you succeed and shame on us. Yep. Speaking of limited resources, you can, everybody has the opportunity to get resourceful. We've done it since day one. Because for me, rising up was a non-negotiable. You have to treat life as if it's a non-negotiable. When you have leeway, you're always going to go back to default, which is your comfort zone. And that's why when we have, the more successful you become too, by the way, the bigger and the scarier the decisions you're going to have to make. And that's why you don't want to go from losing one pound to a hundred pounds mm -hmm. because you have to experience all the decision making process that happens between one and a hundred because mm -hmm. you're not the same person. You need to build that confidence through the experience. Mm -hmm. See where I'm going with that? That's why tummy tucks don't work. That's why whatever surgeries don't work. Because you're, you're like, I want my body to change. I'm going to go the fast route. But you haven't been through the experiences to change what a person who weighs 150 pounds versus a 250 pound person lives. So you don't know how to live like that. Therefore, it will be taken away from you. Um, so that's with regards to momentum. You know, the only way for you to keep your momentum going is to go out of your way to surround yourself with people that you want to be like, people who inspire you. And by the way, this is why we're moving to Miami. You guys, everything that we teach you is how we learn as well. We are so committed to where we're going that we're like, we're actually gonna, we're gonna move our entire life to be closer to our mentors. Proximity is power. Yes. And, you know, we, we will never ask you to do anything. We have an A, either already done ourselves, which most of the time that's the case, or B, be willing to do it. Yep. Yep. Because um, that is... I, I want to I wanna go to the, like, momentum thing. So, like, some of you guys who, who ended the last transformation... You guys know that by the end of the day, the transformation is the next step. Why? Because it's a separator. It's a separator of seriousness, right? Like imagine there's 2,000 people who registered for this challenge and we're so happy and grateful. But the reality is, is that I'm telling you, the people who gave up on day five, you've probably given up on yourself already. And, I, and if you have, then I challenge you to do it today. For the symbol of seriousness of you not giving up on yourself. Now, the reason why we're going to make an offer is because for those who kept on going and who haven't given up on themselves, we want to provide you with an opportunity because we know that it takes more than 14 days. So, but after the eight weeks, you will get another offer for a long-term plan. And here's the thing, you guys, the people who've taken the offer last time, 
three things happen. Some people have taken the offer, like Rachel Moore, which I want to give a huge shout out to, like Sarah Ebotson, right? Like your momentum kept on going. Why? Because you have access to all these coaches. Kayla Halfley, I know she's Kayla here. Kayla Halfley, she's yes, yes, yes. So many of you guys. There's, yeah, there's a lot more. Like 40 of you guys. Yeah. You kept the momentum going throughout the holidays. Some of you guys did it because you're like, you're like, I've, I've made progress in eight weeks. I'm good. Somebody Some of you guys decided to now be, I don't know, but you thought that because you're better, you're, you've now taken it upon yourself to, to lead other people when you're not even qualified to do that. We've heard about it, by the way. But like these are these are small things. Like my mom calls it peanuts. So like we're not even going to care about it. I call it the blind. But the, the momentum. Blind. I can only imagine that with what happened there is that the moment like your guys's momentum has probably slowed down because it's all about who you have access to in life. Can I say too? Because there are a significant number of people watching, which makes my heart so happy that. If you guys, and this is, I feel like a gen, a general, like universal principle or rule that is like, if you're struggling with something in your own life, you are not qualified to answer other people's questions regarding that topic. Yeah. Our, we see this all the time in our group. It doesn't happen often at all, which I'm so grateful for. And the reason I say this is because I would like to keep it that way is that You'll go into some group like, um, you know, keto something or whatever. And, you know, somebody will ask a question. Hey, you know, um, um, how do I do X, Y, Z? And then everybody answers. And it's like a plethora like of, of, of like all variety of answers. And 90% of those people are still struggling themselves with the thing that they're answering. And I'm like, how do you get to answer the thing? If you're struggling with the thing, now you're confusing that person and maybe giving them advice that is not going to be helpful for them. So I just like to ask that you leave the answering of questions for the coaches. That's why we have so many of them that roll around in this page. Yes, and we will keep on having more and more. And by the way, if this is something that inspires you to coach people, show up as one. Be really successful so that you can impress us. But with what I just said, understanding that, you know, it's okay to share your own personal experience with something. Yes. I'm not saying like, you know, don't show share your own personal experience. If somebody says, oh my God, I'm struggling with this. You want to say like, oh my God, I totally did. Like I tried this thing and it worked for me. Great. But if somebody says like, what's the best protein to get? And you're like, you don't even really know. You just like have one that, that you like, but you don't really know. <laughs> Maybe just let somebody else answer that. I don't know. Yeah. But sharing, sharing your own personal experience is, you know, welcomed. That's what we do every day. Look, you guys, our conversations are the way that they are because we will be disservicing you guys if we won't expect of you to be better. Mm -hmm. So we are okay and we're committed to maybe not just challenging you to think differently, but actually make you a little bit uncomfortable. You know, I, I said something a couple minutes ago that maybe made some like a person or two feel uncomfortable. My intention is to inspire you to actually be better, mm -hmm. not to make you feel like shit. So know that. Again, um, you don't take action if you're comfortable. Yeah. And also one of the four agreements, don't take things personally. However, like so many times, Aaron and I like have people come to us and say, I feel like you're speaking to me every single time. Or like something you, something you said, I felt like I was attacked. I'm like, that's on you. There's 90, how many people here? That's on. Yeah. That's on you. So know that if we ever challenge you and you're like, Ooh, I'm feeling this way. Like ask yourself, why are you feeling this way? Is it because yeah. we're speaking the truth? Our commitment is to make you better. So now I wanted to add one more thing. We want you guys to know, like nowadays on social media, there's all the like 
Lee da da people like you know like <laughs> explain Lee da da just like just like you know life is too short so you might as well just eat all of the um <laughs> I'm on the roll with the with the Reese's cream eggs. So I'm just get, so like uh, so I'm gonna just keep rolling with it. But like you know, like life is too short, so you might as well enjoy it and eat those whatever. Now, I'm not saying that you should abstain from eating it. That's not the case. Okay, all I'm saying is that if you eat it, be intentional. But no, that's what we truly believe is that each and every one of you guys are enough already. You're beautiful as you are. Know that you're imperfect and you're beautifully imperfect. Stop trying to be fucking perfect. But now that you know Strive that. to have higher standards. Don't try to be perfect. Perfect is not real. And every successful person knows that they not even accept perfect because if they were perfect, they wouldn't strive to be better which again takes you back to this thing called the comfort zone, which you never want to be in. So know that you are enough, okay? But know that what you deserve is to be great. You deserve to be great. You are enough, but you deserve to be great. And you know why you deserve to be great? Because we believe that life is too short for you to not live your greatest life. Jennifer Wheeler. Is that the Jennifer from uh, Seattle, Washington that I met a really long time ago when I worked for Complex? That would be amazing. I tried to look up the dictionary definition of la-di-da, by the way. It's not a real word. <clears throat> Actually, you said la li di di or something like that. I even tried to go to Urban Dictionary and there's nothing. Congratulations, you made a new word. I think it's like a Hebrew thing. Apparently, you can't search the definition of <clears throat> sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. La di di, la da da. But doesn't have a definition. Strive to be great, and nothing beyond, nothing below that, because anything below great is average. There's and, a difference great, between great and perfect. There's a difference. Yes, don't strive to be perfect, because if you're perfect. You have no way of getting better. And if you're perfect, you're delusional because there is no such thing. Yeah. So accept failure, challenge failure, lean into your fears, do everything that you can to surround yourself with people who challenge you to be better. Even if they make you feel uncomfortable, even if every once in a while they give you a little knot in your stomach, I know when it happens to you guys because I feel it. I'm telling you, this is not me speaking. It's God speaking through her. We all have this ability to tap into our higher power, but you have to give yourself permission to do so. Because if, if you want to get better, you have to constantly embrace that feeling. You have to embrace it. So remember, today is your day. Today is your choice. The good news is that... It is a choice. You have a choice. The bad news is, is that if you struggle to embrace this, then you will fail to make the right choice. And you will keep on either slowly sliding down... <gasps> You will keep on either slowly sliding backwards, which is where people are like, the I'm fine people, or, you know, I just want to be where I am. Look, life doesn't happen that way. You either get better or you get worse. And if you stay where you are, then that just means that you're getting worse slowly. Again, change happens every day. Most change cannot be seen until there enough momentum has compounded for it to be seen okay so boogie took my place for a second i needed a break so you have the opportunity to make the right choice today but you have to commit 
to making the right choice today. Nobody can do it for you. And by the way, you could be, you could go out of your way. This is for those people who invested in, in tens of programs, in hundreds of programs, and they're like, nothing worked. Just because you invested in something doesn't mean that now your life is going to change. Yet yeah, you're guaranteed results. Stop the show up. You have a much greater likelihood because of the access that you have to certain people, but you have to put in the work. So remember, you have a choice today. And we hope that this conversation has inspired you to make the right choice today, even if it feels uncomfortable. And let's talk about, this is not a conversation, but more of a statement, is that today's the only day You've heard before, like yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not guaranteed. Legit, today is the only day you know you have because you're alive in it right now. Mm-hmm. So treat today like it's the only day. That's why dogs are so happy, by the way. Look at him. They don't know anything different than now. We get so comfortable with a tomorrow, right? So there's no sense of urgency. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Why? Because I can't. Who says you're going to be here tomorrow? Like, this may sound harsh, but it's the truth. Do everything that you can that's within your power today to be better. Look at Juno and 100 people on this call. There was eight people on the first espresso I joined. So when we say there was literally nobody watching at the beginning... The truth is, there was nobody watching at the beginning. And then there were a couple. And then there were eight. And then there were, in the double digits. Oh my God. I wish you guys could smell him because he just got a bath yesterday. He smells so nice. Mm. You you moms give your baby a bath and you're like... Look, some of you guys said this is my favorite espresso so far if this is your favorite espresso or or if you got any value from it please do us a favor and share it with one person that you care about so that you can raise your standards remember the more if you want to be more successful you have to raise everybody every you have to raise everybody's standards who is in your life otherwise you're going to stop and by the way, this is one of the most challenging part because it, it requires relationship auditing. And it involves emotions. And people, especially women, get too emotional about emotions. <laughs> so you stay stuck. So if you found value from this, we'd be super happy and grateful if you could share it. Like imagine if each and every one of you guys who are in this room right now would share it with one person and that person was join the group. We could we could have 200 people watch this show. Yeah. Invite your friends to the group so they can watch live. We do post these also on Thank YouTube. Thank you, Donna. So if you're not on YouTube, go over to YouTube and subscribe to that because you can binge watch whenever you feel like it. If you're already watching this on YouTube, hi, thanks for joining our channel. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> Boogie clearly <laughs> wants a nap or breakfast. It's all the same. Boogie, is there any other day other than today? It's today is the day. I don't even know. It just it's right now. You know what time it is? Right now. It's right now. You're so right. It's right now o'clock. And the good news is that right now, registration for the fifth raw transformation is live. So, hey, if we added any value to you over the last seven days or over the last whatever, and you're not currently coaching in one of our programs, you need to. You really need to. Otherwise, it's your loss. And if you're already coaching in one of our pro- programs, doesn't mean that you shouldn't join that one. It's open. Can always get more value. It's the truth. We love you guys. We hope you have a beautiful day ahead and a beautiful week ahead um just so you guys know i'm gonna be going around the page because if i feel you and if i know that you need my help i'm gonna reach out to you and i'm gonna pull you up so if you get messages from me this week um know that it is planned it's because i believe in you guys and it's really serene 
I believe in you guys. Yes, and it is really me. <laughs> and I want the best for you. But you are the one who has to make a decision because this is your life. Okay? But if I know that you need it, I will be real with you. All right, you guys? Love you so much, you guys. Have an incredible day and week ahead. And we'll see we will you tomorrow. see you tomorrow at 7.30. For Q&A day. If you have questions, please submit them on the announcements section of the page. And we'll drop a link today as well for that survey. And we'll see you guys to answer your questions tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys.